And hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. You are watching one of my Jeep travel videos and today I'm taking you on a Feluka cruise in the middle of the Nile River. A Feluka is a traditional Egyptian wooden boat with a canvas sail without motors and powered by the wind. The main floor or deck of the boat had cushions and pillows where we would sit and spend the day and night. The roof was like a half deck where we were able to sit or lie down to get the sun and Nile breeze were relaxing with a beer and enjoy the open views. The boat had three to four people who would be with us on the boat. They spoke fairly good English to carry out basic conversations. It looked like they have uh, they live on the boat permanently and the boat earns them money by providing services to the tourists. On the front deck, they set up a nice mini kitchen to cook and serve us food. I was surprised to see that uh, this small boat managed to stack so much food and drinks to feed all of us for almost 24 hours. Once we settled down on our spots reclining on the side of the boat, the crew started to cook our lunch. I watched the cook cooking in traditional ways sitting on the floor. I was shocked to see how many items he was able to cook in such a short time. Altogether, there were about 8 to 10 items. There are fried fish, fried eggplant, bread, and other Egyptian items I didn't know the names of, and there were even salads. All the items were arranged in the middle of the boat on cushions, sat beside each other. We all sat on both sides surrounding our food and started to eat. I don't know what it was, whether it was the fisherman's style of cooking or the fresh items, but everything was too delicious. I kept eating and eating and tried each item available. There were even sweets served at the end. There were some common Egyptian sweets such as uh, basbusa, knafa, baklava and so on. There were also teas, coffees, beers and soft drinks. I'm not sure how they managed so much food. After eating, the crew raised the sail and we started to sail off. As we were moving away farther from the dock, the shoreline opened up with nice views with lots of boats, luxury big ferries and small fishing boats. Some people moved on the rooftop for better views and winds. I stayed a while on the roof. There was a round low table and small round cushions to sit on. Two girls from our group took the opportunity to sunbathe. By now, we all in the tour group became comfortable and friends with each other. Some guys were going heavy on beers. Uh, beer was not included, but available to buy. The price was very cheap compared to Canada. The surrounding sceneries, warm weather, sweet breeze, all this made those moments unforgettable. Soon, we would land on the other side of the Nile to swim and walk. Yeah, here was a little bit deep, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna face this bit. It's the easiest way to do it. <laughs> We started slowly going near the shore of the Nile and the boat crew anchored the Feluka. The place we landed was in a village with Aswan city now on the other side of the Nile. The boat created a pedestal bridge to descend to the ground from the boat. All of our crew got off the boat. Some girls were two pieces to swim in the Nile. Some guys were swimming too. I only put my feet in and stayed away from going too deep in the water. I saw some villagers grazing our, their cows and donkeys. Some villagers, mostly boys, came close to watch what these tourists were up to. The water felt cold, but not too cold. I sank my go GoPro underwater and took some videos. The Nile's water looked clean and I was able to see through it. I was expecting polluted water, but it looked like it was still fresh. We stayed at the Nile bank for about 45 minutes to close to an hour. Everyone seemed to enjoy being off the boat and mingling with nature and people. 
Even the grazing cows and donkeys were curious and looking at us. After leaving the Nile sandy bank, our feluca started to move slowly. The cook almost finished cooking and other crew members started to arrange the food in the middle of the cushions. There are many items, just like lunch. Uh, they even cooked some specialty foods for those who were vegetarians, but we could eat from any of the dishes. Taste-wise, I couldn't describe how delicious they were. I was blown away by the taste. There are desserts even after dinner and drink options such as soft drinks, tea, coffee or beer. I stuck with water only. As soon as dark enough outside, the crew started to prepare the beds for the night. A canvas shade was pulled around covering the whole boat, retaining heat and keeping us safe from mosquitoes and bugs. We all settled in our spots with our blankets and pillows for a good night's sleep. The quietness, pitch black, dark Nile with some visible city lights far away at night and the stars above made the whole environment feel unreal. I was immensely immersed in the moment and sensing very moment of the night. It was getting chillier fast while which was a stark contrast with the desert heat in the daytime. I had to layer up with sweater although I had blankets. I was surprised that I was able to sleep that early, but woke up a couple of times before dawn. It got even colder around 2 am, which was hard to believe the weather in desert can fluctuate so rapidly. I lifted up the canvas to feel outside and yeah, it was a lot colder outside than our feluca. We would leave the boat in the morning to calm Ombo, which will be in the next video. Thank you for watching this video, there will be more videos coming up, so I'll see you shortly. Thank you.